Hello and welcome to the You Can Do It show. My name is Pascal Reem and today with us we have Brad Watts. He is an actor, a stunt coordinator and performer and has his own stunt dog that he trained himself. Mm -hmm. So uh, to start us off for today, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, like you said, I'm actor such as yourself trying to you know get out there and act and whatnot and uh, the stunt thing kind of came natural asked me you know to would I like to do stunts or whatnot you know kind of more exciting as you know you you know and then got the dog going got the motorcycle so it just it seems like the more you have to offer you know the the, the more jobs or whatnot comes your way but um, it's I mean I started out the acting though and it just you know led from there one thing leads to another and you know you're just true to what you do and people believe in you and you know just such as yourself things you know more yeah, and more and better and better you know yeah things just happen you yeah. don't even expect them to sometimes and it progresses a lot without people asking so yeah so um what exactly would you say you do more often Probably more recently, uh, I guess working a little bit more with the dog. He's got a couple other roles coming up and um, more of the coordination, but still kind of coordinating my, you know, what we're doing stunt-wise or whatever, you know, getting slashed with a knife or whatnot, you know, the fights. And also help out, too, a lot of times you know, with the camera angles, too, because that's, that's very important, too. You, you're off by a little bit. Your punch isn't sold. And yeah. <laughs> you've got to sell the punch, but... I see that in some movies too, the stunts you have to be very careful with camera angles and <laughs> Camera angles and make sure you too. don't slip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that happens too. I've seen people get kick, kick, I myself, uh, yeah. And the dog thing's a little bit more, it takes more time because he doesn't want to perform for second, third, fourth, it's usually sixth or yeah. seventh take, but it's hard. So, uh, does he have IMDb credit? He's got IMDb. He's got six. Working on a couple more, but wow. yeah, he's 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 getting up there. It's uh, it's kind of neat, you know. I mean, he's getting up there in age. We're thinking about maybe getting another one and training him too, and doing a couple things different. But he can be the dog with the command. He can be your <laughs> dog at the house, or he can, you know, like I say, attack me for scene. So, yeah. but. Uh, I'd imagine Why that'd be difficult fun. for him to attack you, his owner. Actually, you know what, though? It's, it's, it's good he's got a short tail because his tail's wagging the whole time as he's attacking me. It's playtime. It's fun time, you know? And yeah. then after, I'm like, come on, give me kisses. And he'll give me kisses after. And it's, you know, yeah. But he, he loves it. It's, it's his fun playtime. So, yeah. Good. <laughs> uh, what is your latest project for either acting or stunts? Uh, probably uh, the Count Time movie that we've done. I know a lot of people know about or whatever have been in the Count Time movie. Um, that's the one where I've uh, wore many hats on. I mean, I've done special effects on there, all the blood, the bullets, the props, the, um, it was kind of acting coach open uh, auditions. I mean, you name it, we've, but uh, I would probably say Count Time uh, is probably the latest big, long one. We worked on that for almost three years. But um, I'm getting ready to be stunt coordinator on a Madonna University project, which you had worked with oh, the right. folks last year. Yeah. They're a really, really, really good group of kids there at the Madonna oh, yeah. University. And uh, also doing, uh, currently I am a biker bounty hunter for a movie. It's kind of a dark comedy, horror, how you put all three of those together, I don't know, but that's how it got described to me. <laughs> to me. Like you're a bounty hunter. And I'm, right. yeah, chasing these people down and whatnot. And then I'm also, at the end of this month, I have a project uh, called uh, 10 Miles Back up in Grand Rapids with, uh, this will be the third full feature I've worked uh, on with these guys, and that's up in Grand Rapids. I'm a, also a biker on that one, too. We got a big bike scene going in that, I mean. Imagine that, uh, you know, I don't know if I can pull it off or not, but. <laughs> so do you have your own motorcycle yep. or? Yeah, oh, nice. it's a, it's a uh, 2006, uh, a lot of people think it's a Harley or an old Indian, but it's actually a Honda VTX. So, Honda, wow. Yeah, it's a pretty nice bike. I've got quite a few miles on it, but uh, that always helps. And, you know, a lot of people see me too. I mean, just like in this interview, people, I mean, we look basically about the same size is because we basically are a lot of people think that I'm like this big six yeah. five biker guy, two fifty, but no, I'm like about one thirty five and about <laughs> six 
<laughs> I'm about five six, so. <laughs> but I guess you look different when you're on camera and yeah. doing the scenes. I don't. I, lo I don't look too old too. I look yeah. ten, eleven ish. I'm actually yeah. fourteen. <laughs> Thought you were uh, sixteen or? Nope, fourteen. Oh. Yeah, I get a lot of my roles because uh, I look younger. Yeah, yeah. And because I'm older, I can actually play a younger role and have a little bit more confidence for other people. And more knowledge of what, yeah. how to act back back then. But, um, what do you like most about uh, being a stunt performer specifically? Mm. It's hard to watch yourself like in the acting thing, but the stunt performer too, you always want to, you want to see that. You mm -hmm. want to see if, yeah. wow, did that punch sell? Did that really look good? Just, you know, it's, I guess that's that really seeing the after and it, did you really sell it or it's like, oh my gosh, it's like, you know, I, I don't know. I guess it's the satisfaction of it looking good and, you know, looking like it's supposed to, so. Yeah, have you ever actually had anything go wrong while doing a stunt? Quite a few. I got a board <laughs> broke over my back that I was sore from. That broke a little bit off edge where it was supposed to. I uh, came around with punch and actually a uh, movie that I did, um, the Stone Sisters. Um, the girl that was she was it was a um, kind of Indiana Jones, but it was two sisters uh -huh. that kicked everyone's butt in the whole thing. <laughs> and I came around and bam, hit her. You know, uh -huh. hit her. And then the next day she ended up punching me and. Ended up hitting me in. I don't know if it was on action or not, but you know. <laughs> but yeah, there's always something that goes wrong that you know, you're always going to get a bang, a bruise. My recent thing, um, I was doing uh, police videos. I work, uh, do stunts with. Um, it's the 3D screen, where the officer comes in and he needs to make a choice. Either he draws his weapon, he draws his taser, or he's uh, he's going to mace me. And I go up to the camera or whatnot, and you know, it's the, like I say, I gotta take the fall. Either they tase me, they say I'm being tased, I fall. They say I get shot, I gotta fall. You know, but uh, we were doing a fight scene, and another guy that I worked with before, uh, and I'm like, the camera's way far back. You know, all you have to do is show the action, show the action. You know, the arm coming back, and camera's way far away, and I still end up getting hit in the head, but it, it does happen. I mean. And the thing is, as long as nobody's really hurt, just keep rolling with it, because sometimes yeah. those are the best scenes. Yeah. It's actually, sometimes it's good, and directors will uh, purposely surprise the actors. I remember one time uh, I was on set for Becoming the Reaper, and I was supposed to be a kid getting abused by his dad. I had a sister, and their plan was scare us, mm -hmm. to look really scared. So he grabbed her and dragged her across the room, and she was terrified at that. And then his goal was to pick me up and scare me and kind of you know, hold me up yeah. in the air, and I laughed. Because <laughs> I, I just don't go well with those kind of things. I just cracked up. But, but bloopers are good, too, because yeah, it's always good, good. they have behind the scenes, which I'm sure you yeah. might have a couple bloopers, have one bloopers, or two from yeah. here, too. <laughs> My first short film, I had the creepiest smile ever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What is your best quality to you? Yeah, my best quality, I guess, um, being a firm believer in karma. <laughs> n number number one, <laughs> and that good karma will come back to you. Yeah. Um, I guess, like I say, your word means a lot, and being honest when you can count on somebody. I, I guess just being truthful and honest, not only with yourself, first and foremost, but with everyone else, too. You know, you have to be honest with yourself and live in today reality and not some far-fetched world that yeah. somebody's going to... I am actually also a believer in karma. Mm -hmm. If you do something wrong, that's it's going to come back at you it, somehow. It will bite you in the butt, yeah. for sure. <laughs> All right, so who would you say was your biggest supporter? Yeah. I don't have like a lot of family, I would say, uh, I, I, I guess social media, Facebook or whatever, I have a lot of supporters, friends, a lot of people like, well, you got a lot of fans. I don't like to call people fans or whatever, but I, supporters, people that support me yeah. and what I do. And, you know, I'd say, I guess social media, Facebook, and just people in the acting industry that believe in me and call me back again to do some more projects yeah. with them. All right, yeah, my biggest supporters are my parents. Mm -hmm. uh, they're in the control room right now, actually, <laughs> uh, doing a lot of stuff. 
So what was the toughest decision you had to make in your entire life? Ooh, I guess, uh, I don't know, the toughest decision. Uh, or one of the toughest. I, I can't say really growing up because they haven't grown up yet. And they, <laughs> they, they say if you don't grow up by 50, you don't have to. You gotta at least be an adult and be responsible. Remember that, so. If somebody tells you to grow up, you can say I don't have to if you know, not yeah. by 50. But um, I don't know what my, I, I, I don't know what my biggest, I, I don't know. It's, it's a tough, tough question. I don't know. All right. <laughs> so we'll say the toughest decision you've ever had to make is to make that decision. <laughs> to make that, that is the toughest decision yeah. yet, correct. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> uh, with all of your uh, stunt coordinating, stunt performing, and acting, what does your typical day look like? Ooh, it kind of varies. I mean, depending on uh, who's gotten a hold of me the night before, what I'm preparing for the coming up weekend, what uh, if I do have to maybe say paint and uh, you know do what not or get other things done. But basically, I guess I go to the social media, see what's happening there, emails, get caught up on stuff, kind of, yeah. kind of like you do as as, as such. But yeah. uh, make sure yeah. you got everything straight because one little Kay. mishap can kind of derail you. Keep the ducks in the row, as they say, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what was the turning point in your life that kind of mm. put you toward the art, performing arts? I guess it's maybe the challenge. Like I said, I was kind of uh, shy or whatever to get up and do presentations or whatnot. You know, I've, I've actually done, um, walked the runway doing modeling before, believe it or not. Wow. I've done Harley Davidson some modeling and Lansing before and a couple shows at Masonic Temple in Detroit. But I guess that the challenge of, I haven't done that and it's, it's, it's like coming on and doing this, the interview thing. I mean, it's like just the challenge, I guess, yeah. and trying to overcome it, you know, and. All right, I like that, that's, yeah. I'm pretty nervous when I give a presentation to at school, yeah. especially since a lot of kids know I'm an actor, so they expect something really good. I'm like, I don't have anything good right now. <laughs> Maybe you should dress up as uh, Abe Lincoln one day <laughs> or something. <laughs> Memorable, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you ever have a backup plan for if anything didn't fall through? I had a painting company. I don't know a lot of people. That's one of the things people don't know about me. I'm a professional painter by trade. I, I do actually like get art out. paint or like no um, commercial, residential. I do homes, interior, exterior. I've done stuff a lot. I like I said, I worked at Ford's for 15 years. But my backup plan, I guess, I could always go back to being a painter full time <laughs> or doing something like that. But. It's pretty hard work. I'm getting up there. I just turned 48. I don't know if you and it's, 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 I'm getting up there and, you know, I'd like to be more of the stunt coordinator than the stunt yeah. guy, but. All right. So, um, I don't think I, I don't think I have anything else. So thank you for joining us today on the You Can Do It show. I am your host, Pascal Reem, and this was Brad Watts. And remember, you can do it. Thank you. <laughs>